Okay, so I know we have a Mother's Day frost kind of thing that goes on, but this is getting silly. So, this is my current garden. This is all perennials here. These dusty millers, they can live most of the time. We've got some Asiatic lilies. That's a flat of marigolds sitting right there. It's a eight pack. Those things are hardy, so I'm not too worried about them. Another Asiatic lily. That's my clematis. Crystal hung a wind chime on there while we're waiting for a place for it. All of these perennials and hardy plants like Dusty Miller's I'm not worried about. So that right there, that's a blueberry bush. And in order to have a pollinator, this is another blueberry bush. We just have this one potted right now. And as you can see, right next to it is a strawberry plant. These two pots over here, one of them is just a cheap one from the store. Uh, the one on the end there, I have catnip in that. So if the neighborhood cats destroy it, they didn't destroy anything special. Um, that one just has um, the herb oregano in it. Over here is normally pepper plants, but like I said, due to this stupid frost in May, um, I have them all covered. The far corner there is a orange marigold. This here is a Better Bell 4 pepper plant from Burpee, so is this one. That one out there is a Bonnie's Sweet Banana Pepper Plant, and this one in the middle is an Early Girl Tomato. These are cauliflowers right here. That is a hill of cucumbers, and we have radishes planted in the middle here. Over here, in the spot where all the tree propellers are, is asparagus roots that I planted. They haven't sprouted yet, obviously. It's only been a week. And then right here is some leaf lettuce. This leaf lettuce is called... Paris Island and then we have a single cabbage plant right here he's loving the cold and some radishes are planted here where the white tag is and then over here we have another orange marigold this plot hasn't grown yet because I have green beans in rows here in, in you know just seeds and then right here this is a zucchini mound and it will here, I guess the tag fell out. There we go. Zucchini. And over here, that's two more plants of the same lettuce. And then right here, we have a jalapeno plant. And then over here, we have just a Bonnie's um, green bell pepper. That is a beefsteak tomato under the purple cover. And then I had already staked this other one. This other one is a Bonnie's Original tomato, and I had staked it already, so I actually, um, it was just short enough that this clay pot fit over it, and I put the stake right through the hole and just took the trellis out, um, and I'll put it back. So that, that fixed that. And then when we go over here, um, here on the end, we have another zucchini mound, and then I have radishes and carrots all in front of it. Now here in this middle part is all sweet corn. On the left side is the one that's all white, and then the one over here is like the peaches and cream one, they call it, where it's like the orange and the white. And then that ends with a hill of cucumbers. So that's this area. And then, um, as we go back over to the patio, we have a red delicious apple tree right here. And it has to have another tree to pollinate it. But while it was in the store, it pollinated. So as you can see right here, we actually have baby apples hanging on the tree already, which is all good for me. Um... This is one of my favorite plants. This is just a hosta that we put in this pot. And it looks good. This is our new Arbovita tree. That's just right here. This is uh, over here where Amara is standing. Is where 
one of our kittens passed away due to a choking incident and so she is buried there and we planted some flower bulbs called the gladius mix on top of it over here where the fence gets crummy it's where we keep our trash cans and nobody's ever in a, you know the the air conditioner unit is there so nobody's ever too fond of this spot it's right up by the stop sign on a pretty busy street corner so everybody's kind of like screw this spot and all that grew here was weeds and the fence is broken over there i plan to fix that later in the year but for right now we started cultivating it because we're like well if it's just a field of weeds, why not make it a field of something useful? So we started here, and you see Crystal dug up the rest there, and we're getting ready to work on that some more. I've got some new garden soil and some flower soil. Hi, sweetie. And over here, I planted some tubers, which are potatoes that already sprouted, and then you cut them up into pieces and plant them so you can grow bunches of potatoes. And then over here, I did the same thing with onion sets. So I'm hoping to at least turn what was not useful ground before into something that at least produces something fruitful. And so then we have our, our normal tree over here. I've also, this yard had its issues. So I fill in any spot where grass doesn't grow and I put potting soil and grass seed. And I'll tell you what, where we used to have the kids' trampoline over here and it killed all the grass, this is just two weeks after planting grass seed here. I know there's some weeds in there, but I can't spray because I'm growing new grass. You see that blue stuff? That's the grass seed. But all of this, like right here, out by my foot, that is all brand new grass growth, brand new grass growth. And so the lawn is making a comeback. The kids got a new sandbox and, and their trampoline. And then so now you can kind of see from the perspective over here. Yeah, see, uh, the Mara is open in the sandbox. So you can see there they got a whole thing going on in here with castles. And, and they got a doll buried and all of that kind of stuff. I know, I know. You're still working on this, sweetie. And so, yep. Yeah. Um, and so then if you look from back here at the end of our yard, there's the plot with the corn, cucumber, zucchini. And then there's the rest of the garden that goes back to our house. And then over there on the other side by my car and the stop sign is where the other stuff's grown. So I, I know multiple people here on Facebook had asked me about a tour or pictures and stuff. Um, of my yard so I did so so the latest thing after we finish this see I've got garden soil to plant more onions here and then we're gonna plant flowers so I've got miracle grow flower soil ready to go for that sorry I gotta skip over all these deep holes here these are just rocks we dug up We've still got this front bed here that was taken over by weeds and another one over there that was um, planted with ornamental grass. We're planning to dig all of this stuff up and then put something different, flower seeds, perennials, whatever, in there. And then this spot where I'm trying to walk over and Amara is kind of balanced on right here. Um, we're going to finish out with flowers and then have a narrow walkway where we're, oops, see, I'm, I'm tripping. See, so we still got to, we still got to work on this and we'll get that finished. There were so many wild onions in this thing that, I mean, it took like two, three hours of like nitpicking type labor to get all of this stuff i mean look at these things they're in like bunches and all it takes is just a single one of these bulbs to get in your soil and you'll get a bunch of onions with a big tall thing on it they're a serious invasive problem around here 
you can see there's more of them that we we pulled out over there so I'm trying to keep that under control grow a few crops in the meantime and yeah this is our little home abode home garden I guess the last thing I can show you is we got this new fire pit uh, one of the kids play guns is sitting there um, we got some buttercups covered here with the garbage can in case it gets cold. Um, I'm really proud of this plant. This is called a night sky petunia. And it's super gorgeous. And it already spread into the buttercup that I think got shocked by the early season and all the chemicals they spray on it in the nursery. So we've been kind of trying to get that thing nursed back to health. The hosta just was like, thank you, Lord, when it got put in that pot. Um, and, and everything else is just doing fine. Um, it's got a little messy over here. Some cushions blew down in the, in the storm, but, you know, all, all's well. Yards coming together. Plants are getting better. And, you know, it's just a year-to-year -year process. You, you just keep getting better at it. So, all right, everybody. Um, much love and stay safe out there. Bye.